The function of a valve is determined by two attributes, the number of ports and the number of positions. They are commonly displayed like this. The first number represents the number of ports on a valve. Only the ports on the main body are counted, and the smaller ports on a pilot valve, for example, are not included. This is a 2-2 valve. It has two ports and two positions. Port 1 is the inlet or supply. Port 2 is the outlet or output. This is a standardized numbering system. The two positions are open or flow and closed or no flow. The operation of the valve is also indicated by a number. In this case, it's 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two refers to the flow of air from port 1 to port 2. So this 2-2 two, two valve with 1-2 one, or 1-0 one, operation works as follows. In position 1, labelled as 1-0, the valve is closed and there is no airflow. In position 2, air flows from port 1 to port 2. This simple valve is similar to the tap over a wash basin. When it is in one position, water flows. In the other, it stops. This is the symbol for a 2-2 valve that you may see on a system diagram. Each box represents a position. Each number represents a port. The illustration also includes a button and a spring. In position 1, no air will flow, often called the zero position and illustrated with a T-shape. In position 2, air flows from port 1 to port 2 as illustrated with an arrow. A 3-2 valve has three ports and two positions. It works in a similar way to the 2-2 valve, but with the addition of an exhaust labelled as port 3. This valve also has 1-2 and 1-0 positions. However, when in the 1-0 position, the air from port 2 is vented through port 3. Here is a simple example of a 3-2 valve operating a single acting spring return actuator. Initially, the system is at rest, the button is not pressed, and the valve is in the 1-0 position, so no air is passing to the cylinder. When the button is pressed, the valve moves into the 1-2 position and air passes through the valve to the cylinder. When the button is released, the valve moves back into the 1-0 position and the air between port 2 and the cylinder vents through the exhaust port. 3-2 valves come in many shapes and sizes, but the principle is always the same, whether it's a standard valve, a ball valve or a shut-off valve. A 5-2 valve has five ports and two positions. As you can see here, there is still one inlet, but now there are two outlets and two exhausts. The two positions are air to port 2 outlet or air to port 4 outlet. So the operation for this valve would be 1-2 and 1-4. You can see the operation more clearly in this diagram. Two boxes represent two positions and the ports are numbered. When the air flows to port 2, the air from port 4 passes to the exhaust. When the air flows to port 4, the air from port 2 passes back through the exhaust. A 4-2 valve is less common and is not shown here. These valves are similar to a 5-2 valve but share an exhaust port. Here is a diagram demonstrating a 5-2 valve operating a double acting cylinder. In the 1-2 position, air moves through the valve and enters the front of the cylinder, pushing it inwards. Air from the back of the cylinder enters port 4 of the valve and is vented through port 5 of the valve, the exhaust. When the button is pressed, the valve moves into the 1-4 position. Air now travels from port 4 of the valve to the back of the cylinder, pushing it forwards. The air at the front of the cylinder now passes back through port 2 and out of the exhaust at port 3. Five three valves are also available, but should only be provided in certain circumstances. These valves have a third, normally sprung position. It can have safety implications if not used correctly. Ensure that the customer is replacing like for like. If not, then seek technical advice. Here is a summary of what we've covered. 